Dr. John, and I am going to be showing you today how to use the computation, learning computation drawers in the worksheet program. So let me get logged in, log into our worksheet program. You're familiar with the basic addition facts, subtraction facts, and so on. Well, another drawer we have is the learning computation drawer. And these learning computation drawers are meant to be done after the facts of that operation have been learned. So they're mastered, the student's gone all the way to level Z, they're very speedy with their facts, now they can start learning computation. Please don't start until they have. Um, if once students have mastered their facts in an operation, they, they enjoy doing computation because they can do it very quickly and easily. But teaching computation before they've mastered the facts is, uh, is just painful for everybody concerned. There are drawers for addition computation, subtraction computation, multiplication, and division computation. I'm going to show you the addition a computation drawer today, but they're all, they all work the same way. In the drawer, you will see all of the skills uh, of addition computation broken down uh, from the first skill all the way to the most advanced skill. Uh, small, easy to learn steps, they grow in sequence, so each builds on the last, adds another new bit to learn. If you go in order, your student will find the process easy. They will develop confidence and ease with doing arithmetic computation. The skills are numbered uh, in order, and the uh, number tells you the level it's typically taught at. So first grade for that skill, second grade for these skills, third grade for these skills, and fourth grade for those other skills. And by the end of fourth grade, everybody is uh, usually knows how to do all the addition computation they need to learn. Um, as long as they know the facts uh, before they start, and so they're fluent, uh, they can go from step to step all the way through this without regard to grade level. But um, don't skip any steps once you start teaching. They need each of these steps in order to do the next one. Now, in order to get started, you're going to have to give the assessment. So um, the student assessment looks like this. Uh, just has a whole bunch of problems uh, that seem to get harder and harder as they go. Um, and so you're going to have them work with that. At the same time, you want to have the teacher uh, answer key and uh, available, and you're going to be looking at it, because you can see the name uh, and the number for each skill as the students work down through it. So what I would do is I would um, just watch them. So just be sitting there and watching them as they work. And you can look over their shoulder You can with, with your answer key there and see uh, where they're having, where they start to have difficulty. Uh, and that's where you're going to stop. So uh, they should be able to just slam through these pretty easily as long as they know their facts. If they know the operation, they can go right through it. But wherever they begin to have difficulty, where they begin to make errors in their process, or uh, they say this is hard, or they say I don't know how to do it, um, then uh, that's where you begin teaching them. Uh, if uh, they make an occasional mistake, uh, add 7 and 2 and put 8 there instead of 9, but they get the other problems right, they still know how to do this particular skill. This one, you see, is skill 2B-C, uh, so they know that. You don't need to start teaching there. But wherever they start to have difficulty, that's where you begin. Uh, so let's say they get down here to 2E, uh, where they're having to rename or uh, carry, we used to call it. and um, they are having trouble with that or they're not doing it correctly, then that's where you would begin teaching. Uh, and you would not skip any steps after that. Even if they tell you, oh, I know how to do that, just work them through uh, all the steps, all the skills uh, from then on. So um, how do you go about teaching it? 
Well, so you get to the skill you want to start, we said 2E, and uh, so you open that up and you're going to print out this teaching script and answer key. So there's one page or two of teaching script that you use to teach with, and then there's a answer key for each of the five worksheets that the students have to work through. You print that all as a little package, and then each day, uh, for each lesson, you're going to have the student do a page, uh, a worksheet. So uh, let's open up this first one. This is 2E number one. Um, I'm going to try putting it over here to the side so we can look at both things at the same time. And uh, you'll see that there's a part at the top, and, um, and then there's a part at the bottom. And let me just get to this and there's our teaching script two keys all right so the part at the top is where you're going to teach this new skill all of these problems are uh, match with this particular skill that um, you're teaching there the bottom part um, is a review uh, and you see it says three minutes and so we want to tell them um, just do this for three minutes you do not have to keep doing it forever and ever go as fast as you can and at the end of three minutes, you'll stop. If you get through it all, that's amazing. We're going to give you a high five. We're going to be uh, uh, really happy about that. If you don't, it's all right. Too. Just go as fast as you can, and you're done in three minutes. As long as they do three minutes of review, they're getting enough review to not forget the things that they learned before. Now, in how does the script work? Well, you just read the questions uh, to them. You, know, you tell them first read the problem, then you ask them which column they do they start, the ones column and the tens column, and um, then you tell them to read the problem, the ones column, and so on. You just go step by step through the problem in order the same way. And one of the things that's going to be good about this is it teaches students to go through methodically and follow the same process every single time. And if they do that, um, they're going to be much more accurate and smooth in this uh, operation later. So that's why we lead them through step by step, always in the same order, always the same way. Now, you will notice that, oh, if you, uh, if you know how to, you have to know how to do this. Uh, but presumably you do, and uh, you do have it. Of course, you have the answer key here in the case you get in trouble. But um, you should be able to just walk them through it and, and read what it says and lead them through the problems. It's the same way every time they'll get very confident. And that's why you have uh, these others. So you see uh, there's an initial script with 12 steps, very careful. Doing that pretty soon, they're going to go, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, Good, you know. Then you go to the later practice script where less help is needed. They're pretty much doing it, but you just want to make sure they're doing things the right way as they go along. And then finally, they're going to get to the point where they're ready for, just about ready for independent practice. So you do this final practice script with uh, maybe three problems in a row. And if they can get those three right and they don't have any difficulty, then they're ready for independent practice. If they do, uh, they can do a row of in independent practice correctly, then they know the skill and they're done with uh, 2E. Uh, if they, hopefully, they get done with 2E, right about, you know, worksheet five. If they get done sooner and they're very confident they're getting them all right and not having any difficulties, then that's fine. You don't have to do every page of the five pages. Conversely, if they're still struggling on page five, worksheet five, uh, they're not ready to do it by themselves, they're not feeling confident, then go back to worksheet one. You can do it again. Now, they haven't done it for five days. They don't remember those problems. Uh, it'll still uh, help them learn how to do the process. So you do this for five, 10, 15 minutes, whatever it takes um, to get through the problems at the top. Do all of those. And then the bottom, they take three minutes, uh, and then they're done. And of course, you have the answer key to check them. Um, you know, uh, look for uh, things to, to be all correct. Basically, they know their facts well, and they know the operation. They shouldn't have any problem. Um, this is how the learning computation programs work. We expect you'll find it smooth sailing. Let us know if there are any parts that are difficult. We'll work to make them better and to work. Very good.
Okay. Thank you.